Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of dividing unit fractions and whole numbers with models. This is standard 5.3J in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 24 of the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a model here to represent the remaining one half of the cake. So that's going to be very important here. And that's why you see all of our responses there start with one half. So if we were to look at it kind of like this, right? So this is the eaten half up here. And this is the remaining half down here. So we have a strange rectangular cake here. And then you've got three friends, all right? So you've got three friends. Let's draw our three friends here. They are going to receive an equal amount, very important, of the remaining cake until it is all gone. So they're going to use the rest of it, and each of them are going to get an equal amount. Whenever we see equal groups or equal amount, that gives us a big clue that we are dealing with multiplication or division. Those are very important for our multiplication division is having those equal groups. If they're unequal, then it's not really multiplication or division. So we need to find an equation here that's going to determine the fraction of the whole cake that each friend is going to receive. And so they give us equations because we also have the answers. And so each of these answers actually are correct. So let's just go ahead and take a look at this. So they all start with one half. So let's just say they all receive three pieces, right? So they, we're going to take this one half, and we're going to, and we're going to, actually do a repeated addition. Now let's see what happens here. We're going to take our one half, and we're going to give each of them a half. That's what F says. We're going to give each of them a half, and so their piece, each piece that they receive is going to be represent this remaining half. Well, that's the problem. If this first person right here eats half, that's all the cake there is. You get this; these other two people with halves, and that equals three halves, or one and a half, right? So that's three halves, because one half plus one half plus one half makes three halves, or one and a half. They've eaten one and a half cakes. There's only half of a cake left, so those pieces are much too large. So multiplying our half of the cake times the number of kids there are, or number of friends there are, that gives us something way too large. So let's see what G looks like. G is for some reason going to multiply half the cake times 6. Well, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense because there's only three friends, but if we do that, because that's what this looks like, is 1 half times 6. I'm going to use repeated addition. That's going to get us our 6 halves, which is equal to 3. Look, that's a cake, that's a cake, that's a cake. So now we've eaten 3 cakes. There's only half a cake, and that's times by 6 people. So that's not going to make any sense either. Let's look at H. H has got your 1 half and you're going to divide it by 3. So let's take, a, let me draw a picture here of 1 half. Let's say, there's my 1 half, and I'm going to divide it by into 3 chunks like that. Which is actually looking similar, different shape, but looking similar to what they did right there. So that means that each person gets 1 sixth of the cake. And you know what? That looks like that's what they did up here. One sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth. That equals three sixths. And three sixths equals one half. So that's looking good. Let's check J. You get your one half. Now we're dividing it by six again, but there's not six people. There's only three people. Those pieces are too small. One twelfth. So our answer is going to be H.